and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is going to be a pregnancy update from week 13, 14, and 15. So it'll be three weeks in one um, update. I was planning on doing week by week, and that's what my intention there's still to be is week by week, but let me tell you, week 13, 14, and 15 kicked my butt, honestly. It was worse than my first trimester. I had no energy and everything, and this is why it's all gonna be in one video. Um, so I have notes again here, so um, I don't forget anything. I did write things down um, today, and I had Michael help me too, trying to remember what exactly happened. Okay, so let's start with cravings. Um, so I didn't have any cravings that were like cravings cravings, I guess. Um, I didn't like crave anything specific or anything like that. Um, one thing, since I was like really sick and stuff like that, I would eat popsicles a lot. So I did write that down like <laughs> I ate a lot of popsicles trying to get something in my body, but like have it not have like a huge amount of like being stuck in my stomach, I guess. And then um, I started to eat more fruit and vegetables and stuff um, through my whole entire first trimester. So if you haven't seen that video, um, check it out. I'll put it in the cards right here. Um, but I was sick, like I couldn't even really eat anything. And um, I'm kind of like past that phase of not being able to eat like anything and I can still eat like certain amount of things. Um, but I started to eat more fruits and vegetables and um, meat was still hard for me. Um, so chicken specifically, chicken's very hard for me to eat in general anyways, but for weeks 13, 14, and 15, I couldn't even like smell chicken without wanting to vomit or anything like that. So I was good with steak and hot dogs. So that's pretty much what I ate <laughs> for like protein. And then I also had like peanut butter, um, like peanut butter sandwiches and stuff for like protein. And then I had Michael make me like French toast in the morning. So at least it had like an egg for like protein on it. Um, but other than that, like I, that's pretty much all I ate. And it's just like this, the same amount of everything. So I would have French toast for breakfast. For lunch, I would probably have like, like a peanut butter sandwich or like sometimes I wouldn't even eat lunch or I would just like have my leftovers from like the night before. Pasta is like completely fine with me so I can eat pasta no matter what. So I would either have like leftovers for lunch or like I would have like a peanut butter sandwich or anything like that. And then for dinner, I would have like a steak. We've been doing like grilling a lot just because it's been a little bit nicer in Pennsylvania. Um, so I've been having like hot dogs every night and what makes me sad is that every time we grill like I wish I could eat a, a hamburger or like a cheeseburger and that's just not appetizing to me at all right now and so I'll just eat like a hot dog. I'll have like two hot dogs and like have like my vegetables and like tater tots or something. <laughs> all right so like I said um, I was very sick for like week 13, 14, and 15. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this in like in my first like trimester like update, but like when it came around to be like six o'clock at night, that's when like my body like shut down pretty much and was like, you're sick. You're like, you already ate everything and you try to do all the things you possibly can to not feel sick or anything, but it still hits you at six o'clock and it's been pushing back a little bit to like seven o'clock or so, but it still hits me like every night and it's awful because we'll try to go do something at night and I just feel bad because like by the time we go out and go start doing something like I just feel sick enough that like I just want to go home and I feel bad. <laughs> so another thing that was really bad for me like was brushing my tongue like when I brushed my teeth like made me gag every single time. It's better now but during week 13 and 14 and halfway through 15 literally guaranteed to gag and almost throw up. <laughs> so my sense of smell like went through the roof through weeks 13 through 15. Um, every time I would smell something and it wasn't pleasant to me and it's weird because like usually smells like don't bother me like at all. I mean like I have dogs so like I obviously like the smell doesn't really matter to me but something about this pregnancy like let me tell you 
I, every time I would smell something, it, like it wasn't pleasant to me, I would immediately gag. I'd have to go sit in the other room or whatever. Like one night Michael made this like crock pot meal and I was so excited to eat it. I walk in the house, smelt it, and I was like, are you kidding me? And my stomach was like, yeah, you're not eating that tonight. <laughs> Another thing that like, I, I don't wanna say like it's a myth about like second trimester, but you're supposed to like have more energy in your second trimester. And I am always tired. I'm exhausted and I've been going to bed. Like I fall asleep on the couch probably around like 8, 45, 9 o'clock and then Michael will wake me up at like 10, 10, 30, depending on when he's ready to go to bed. And then I'll go to bed with him and then I'll wake up the next morning at like seven-ish, sometimes a little bit after seven. So that's plenty enough sleep. It's just, I'm so tired all the time. One thing that stuck out to me like big time for weeks like 13 and 14, my skin was so dry. And I don't know if it's from like, the, like being pregnant or like going to the Cayman Islands or not Cayman Islands, where did I just go? <laughs> the US Virgin Islands. I don't know if it's from like being in that type of atmosphere and then like getting a tan and then coming back. Um, but my skin was so dry that I peeled everywhere. It didn't matter how much lotion I put on or anything, I peeled and I, it's not, from like sunburn peeling. It was like my skin was so dry that I couldn't keep it like hydrated and I would peel like crazy. So another thing that probably goes along with like the sickness and probably not eating enough, I was lightheaded a lot. So like every time I would go into the shower, um, I used to love taking like long hot showers and now I just can't do it because I just feel lightheaded first off or secondly, I don't like the hot water touching my belly which is so bizarre, so bizarre. And I used to love taking like hot showers and taking tubs. And now anything with like hot water, like don't even bother because I, I'm not gonna stand in the shower for 10 minutes anymore. I get in, in and out like two minutes. <laughs> so this just happened the other day. So like Michael and I were in Target and I really like had to get stuff done in there. And I was so lightheaded that I would have to sit on like the aisles, like, um, I don't even know what to call them, like the aisle shelving. And I would sit on like that first thing and I would just point to Michael of what, what to scan or anything like that. I was, it was bad. I was so lightheaded, I didn't feel good. And, but I wanted to like get this done. Like I, I wanted to get our, like, well, we started our registry. So that's what we were doing in Target. So I started my registry at Target. I'm also gonna register at Bye Bye Baby. And then um, I might do a video on like registry in general, but, I was sitting on like the ground pretty much and pointing to my goal of, like what to scan and I felt so bad because I wanted to be a part of it but at the same time like Michael enjoyed it like not me being sick but scanning it and like being a part of it so I guess that benefited in the in the end there but uh yeah did not feel good at all so during week 14 I went and got my first blood test I know I probably should have went before but then I got busy and then I went to the US Virgin Islands so it was kind of like hard to go get my blood test. Also, I have this huge fear of needles. Like it's a huge phobia. Like I I don't like it at all. Like I, I panic, I freak out, I usually pass out, I usually throw up, all this kind of stuff. I went to get my blood work done during week 14. Of course, I had Michael go with me because who knows what happens after I get a needle in me or whatever. So I had them come with me. I had to get two different blood tests. So I had to do obviously like the, the prenatal like test um, for like HIV and like all my hormones and stuff. But then I also had to do like the Zika virus because I was in the US Virgin Islands. And let's just say if I had a video camera in there, you'd probably all be laughing at me or if you have a fear of needles, you'd be like, girl, I understand. Um, cried, freaked out, couldn't look at it. And then, um, yeah, absolute panic attack. And I felt like I couldn't bend my arm for like the rest of the day because I still felt like the needle was in me. Like, I guess that's what my huge phobia is that I could feel like the needle inside of me. Ugh. People say that I need to get used to that because obviously being pregnant and everything, like you're gonna get a bunch of needles in you. And I did handle it a little bit better than I thought. I didn't pass out or throw up. I just cried. 
because it, it's straight panic in my face <laughs> like straight panic in my head you could see it in my face michael said i do not like needles at all so from that blood test this is where i'm going along with this um i didn't know what blood type i was i know that's probably bad but i've never given blood or anything like that obviously because i have a phobia of needles um but i found out i was a negative and for those who don't know um, about you know a negative or any type of negative blood types when you have a negative blood type um, being pregnant there's a possibility that your baby has positive blood and then if at any point like my blood mixed with like my baby's blood my body pretty much says like my antibodies think it's a virus and try to kill it so um, to prevent well you can't really prevent it at any point um, like you having a different blood type than your baby, but pretty much what my doctor said was I have to get more shots <laughs> Than a normal pregnancy because I have a negative blood type So that wasn't the best news. I wanted to hear <laughs> after already having to give four huge things of blood um, Yeah, so I have to get more shots and that starts around 28 weeks, they said, um, that I'll start getting more shots so my body doesn't eat my baby. <laughs> so a positive thing about <laughs> being pregnant, I know this probably video has been all negative, so I'll try to make it more positive now, but my belly really popped in week 15. Um, so like week 13 and 14, like you could tell, like I had like a pregnancy belly, but like not to other people like to me I could tell like yeah I had a little belly to other people it's probably like is she fat or is she pregnant like I'm still at that <laughs> at that phase right now um but to me like I know obviously it's a pregnancy belly but week 15 is when it really popped and I'll show my belly at the like the end of this video um but it's kind of like nice to see like oh I do have like a little belly and I feel like a little bit more connected um, because I haven't felt like any movement and I know um, like the beginning of like pregnancies and stuff like that you think like gas is like movement and I have been like feeling gas so maybe like I'm feeling movement but I'm not entirely sure obviously um, but it was really cool to see like my belly is like it just popped like all of a sudden I was like huh I have like a baby belly now <laughs> all right so the last thing I want to talk about before um sharing the size of the baby relative to fruit and um like showing my baby belly is that i scheduled an ultrasound early to find out the gender of my baby so this video um i don't know if i want to post it on tuesday of this week or wednesday depending on how much um i get done with editing after i get done filming this um but of this week so april 4th is when Michael and I will find out the gender of our baby. And I seriously cannot wait. Um, so Michael and I are also gonna film a video tonight of like gender predictions and stuff. Um, and we'll film that and we'll post that. That'll probably be my next video that goes up. And I'm just beyond excited to find out what this little bean in if if it's gonna be a mini me or if it's gonna be a mini Michael. I am just ready to start like the planning. I feel like that's my whole entire thing is um, like not feeling like obviously I feel pregnant but not like connected I guess you could say I don't know if that's the right word either but once I start planning like the baby's nursery finish the registry like all this kind of stuff I feel like oh, I just feel like I'm so excited um, so our plan is to find out the gender of our baby together on Thursday and then we'll tell the rest of our family at like some type of gender reveal type of party um, and then everyone will find out themselves oh and then like I said we did start registry at Target um, this week and um, so that was that's nice I, I can't wait to you know add more after I find out the gender of our baby so week 13 um, the baby was the size of a lemon and I posted that on my Instagram um, I just didn't take pictures for week 14 and 15 and I feel like like crap that I didn't even take like a crappy picture um just because I just didn't feel good I didn't feel pretty enough to take a picture like it just it was a mess for the last three weeks let's just say that and plus I was busy with my job 
I'm busy helping Michael with his business, so it was just not, <laughs> just not in the plans to try to plan out a picture. Um, but size um, wise for week 14 was the size of a peach. And then this week, so I'm 15 weeks, almost 16 weeks. So I'll be 16 weeks in a day. Yeah, so I'll be 16 weeks in a day. And um, so the baby right now is the size of an avocado. So I'm gonna show you my baby bump, but I have to adjust the camera and then I can show you what my belly looks like at 15 weeks. And then, um, yeah, I guess that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> so this is, just excuse <laughs> my notes and how messy our guest bedroom is, but um, so this is at 15 weeks, almost 16 weeks now. I honestly, you can actually like see like a bump now, which is nice. <laughs> and um, that's after a bowl of cereal too, so that might be a food baby too. But it's finally starting to pop. Okay, so that concludes my pregnancy update for week 13 through 15. I am going to try to post, you know, once a week, so it's like one week at a time, so I can remember a little bit more things. Um, obviously, schedule pending <laughs> for that. Um, but obviously my gender reveal is coming up. I'm going to do a gender prediction um, with Michael So that will be later this week as well And I get to find out the gender of my baby this week and then obviously Full-blown planning from there. So I'm sure I'm gonna be bringing you along for that So thank you so much for watching if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and I will see you in my next video. Bye